morning campers first of all let's address the hair issue moody chris this morning i've lost my cap i'm absolutely gutted anyone that knows me knows i wear a cap every single day and that was an outdoor research expensive cap sun hat so it's kept the sun off my head it's great in the rain keeps the rain off your face keeps my hair out my eyes oh so gutted i don't know when i made a shower last night i'm sure I had, it, I had it on when I went down there and I took it off and hung it up and it's gone. I don't know if by some fluke of nature it's in my bag, I don't think so. Because I pack my bag from scratch every morning, I take everything out and put everything back in. So, uh, yeah, nightmare. Well, it's a little bit late, we're setting off this morning, I think it's about quarter past eight, twenty past eight. Which is not good because we've got a long day. But, today we've got the long walk out the campsite, which is ridiculous, it's about a mile. Just to even get back to the trail. And today's, um, today's day four, and we're gonna be going up, um, where we're going up? We're going up Kidsty Pike today. So this is the biggest, I think it's 780 meters, something like that. So this is the biggest ascent of the whole walk. Tough day, so we've gotta go up to Kidsty Pike, come down from there, and we get to Hawes Water. Um, and that's a long trek. We've gotta walk around the whole of, of Hawks Water. I think it's flat, but I think it's just, very 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 long way but hopefully it's flat and a little bit of a hopefully not a climb but a little bit out of there and eventually we'll get to a shap but i think it's gonna be late we get there I'm, i reckon we're not gonna get there till about eight o'clock tonight maybe maybe even nine this guy's got a working with nicola and mark mark's got a campsite booked ian set off at six he's already gone he's got a hotel booked nicola will be going home in a car and I've got nothing booked. So I don't want to get there too late because I'm going to be struggling. Legs are good today. Looks like I've got a nappy on, but legs are good. Here we go. We're just on the long climb out of, um, out of Patterdale. It's really good. This ground's great. Just nice and gradual. It's steep going up, but dead easy. Really manageable from where we, uh, from all the other climbs. And when we come out of here, we should be at Angle Tarn which is lovely. I've, um, I've not wild camped there before, but I've been there before when I did some Wainwrights, and it's beautiful. Just show the little look ahead where we're walking. But there's all clouds on the tops, and we're going into Kidsty Pike. We're probably at about, I don't know, three, 400 metres now, and that's 780, so we've got a big climb. But so far, finding it easy. Enjoying it. Nicola's managing on a dodgy leg, marked way behind us. I'm sure he'll catch up. And then I'm not sure yet whether I'm going to come back up. Right, okay. So will you skip a bit and join up or go back to Shep? Oh, no, no. I'll... Oh, we're just looking in front of me now, as you can see. That's Angle Tarn, which is lovely. Really popular wild camping spot. And just behind it, you've got Angle Tarn Pikes. Um, I've sat up there before and done a nice little drone video on there, having a cup of coffee, which is lovely. Still a nice day, clouds rolling in a little bit. I'm not too sure where we're heading next. It could be the big one at the back. But I've got a feeling that might be place fell, I might be wrong. We'll soon see. Ooh. Look some more of the reality. Walking along, raining. It's not torrential though, it's just consistent rain. Getting a little bit boggy. But yeah, we're still on our uh, our way over to the big one. Oh, look at this terrain, look. Still walking. Look at this. The, oh, look at this. Just, it's just, literally just cleared now. <laughs> just cleared so we've got a bit of a view. But yeah, walking over the top, we're at 780 metres now, roughly. I think we're just getting to the top. We're just, well, more or less. I can see the, um, I can see the summit in the distance. This has been a little bit of grim over here. It's just rained. It's not been too hard going. It's been up and up and up, but pretty steady. Last little slog. And then down, 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 down. All the way to Hawes Water. I think that's a little bit of a stretch. Going strong, just the two of us. Smashing it! <laughs> just a really quick video. 
<laughs> yes, we're at the top of Kisty Pike. Right at the top, just touch the little little stones here. Right, I get down because the rain's absolutely coming in now. This is what the coast to coast is all about. This is the beautiful part of the walk. <laughs> On the way down from Kisty Pike, this is absolutely grim. Look at that! Hang on. Oh, I've not press record. You are Jay. Just filmed all, just filmed a bit, really big section. Didn't press record. Fantastic. This is coming down from Kitty Pike. There's Mark. Look, catching there. Really good views. Really shit on your feet. Hopefully you can still see us. We're just at the bottom of um, Kidsty, Kidsty Pike, we've come over there, that was grim. And we're at Hawk's Water now, I think it's called. So we've just had some food, topped up some water. Ah, your legs. <laughs> topped up some water. This lovely little stream here. And then I've just checked the map, we've got nine miles to go. So I don't know how fast we're walking, we're struggling a bit. So two, three miles an hour, three hours, four hours, something like that. It's one o'clock now, which isn't bad. So we're hoping to get into shot by about five-ish. That's the target. Woo! Loving it. How are you feeling? <laughs> 20 past two. Still walking around the reservoir or the lake, whatever it is. Yeah, and it's uh, just a long slog. This. You think it's nice and easy, but it's just up and down. It's a really, really long way, this. And it's still raining. It's rained literally all day. It's been relentless. Not too heavy, but it's really consistent. We're not getting wet, we've got waterproofs on. But yeah, it's just uh, on and on and on. This is a long, 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 long slog. Woo. So yeah, I just thought I'd give you a little quick update to let you know how it's going. Mentally, it's a tough one, this. Keep pushing on. We're just nearing the end of the Horswalk River, as it's called. And I think we're going into fucking Jurassic Park. Look at this. Cute Jurassic Park music now. <laughs> Look at the state of this. What are they keeping out? Just look at the ground as well. It's not all fun and games, is it? <laughs> okay, a little update, look. See where we are? Middle of nowhere. So we've come away from the reservoir and then you work through, what, through the winding um, little bits of forest and things. And the walk to Shap, it's a little bit grueling. Just over, just over fields, nothing really that obvious. Uh, and this is feeling longer than we thought. It's probably about four o'clock now. And I still can't see Shap on my little, my watch I keep looking at. But I don't think it's that much further, but probably still another couple of miles. Hey, let's have a look at this. Let's have a look at this lovely bit of terrain we've got to go through now. Beautiful, look. Come on the coast to coast, they said. Look, well, really well trodden, paved all the way. Lovely. <laughs> I'll tell you what, laugh or cry, I think I'm laughing and crying at the same time. <laughs> Good nightmare. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that, just what you need after a nice hike. I'm not sure what it's like. Chips. And a second pint of Windermere. Hey, your boots are for a puffer. Yeah, cheers. Thank you for all the beers. I'm not that old. No. Cheers, my dear. Cheers. I've probably only done about 150 miles in them. I was like whinging about it on the coast to coast route. Right. Let me give you a little update. As you can see, I've bought myself a B&B for tonight. Oh my God. It is. Half past eight in the evening. So let me give you a little update. I can't remember when I last in the video. I've been filming on my phone and stuff, but as you probably saw, we got into Sharp. Oh, from Hawks Water to Sharp is a nightmare. You never see it on, your vi on the videos, I'm telling you. The ground's shit, but it's a long way. It's a lot further. You think, oh, you'll be there in an hour. No, about two and a half hours, killer. Um, we arrived into Sharp, could hardly walk, honestly. 
I had to stop a couple of times and just I sat down. I didn't think I was going to get back up. And my knees, my knees have gone. So we went to the chippy. <laughs> Insert clips here. What, 64 miles? <laughs> 64 miles is a first place of feet to eat some food. <laughs> Went to the chip it and got some chips and a can of coke. Net the coke, chips went down the cheat treat. Then we walked down and went to another pub. Oh my god, I forget the name of the pub. It's the main pub in Shap. Sorry, resuming back the Crown. So as we walked past the Crown, it's a, it's a little pub, just a little pub on your right hand side. And there's a guy stood there having a cig outside. Mark, he's the landlord. What a lovely, lovely fella. I know. Mark, you'll never see this, but if you are. I will leave you a review. Um, really, really welcoming. He said, come in, got really, you know, it's lovely and warm in here. Come get yourself a drink, got to do really nice food. So we went in there. Um, I actually had three pints. <laughs> I had three pints of um, Lakeland or Windermere beer, which was fantastic, really, really nice. And we had some, um, with some food and it was home cooked. So we waited for it. It was, it was unbelievable. There were some chips with it as well. And it was a um, like a like a hot pot in um, in a Yorkshire pudding, and Nicola had it with dumplings as well, which were optional. Um, it was so nice. I literally I knew some peas with it as well. I didn't leave a crumb. I ate everything. Really, really needed it. Lovely guy. Had a good chat with him for ages. Now, if you're wild camping, you can get a um, pitch in the back, and he does camping pods as well, like a plastic pod that you can stay in to save you doing your tent. They do a really nice breakfast. So I know a couple of lads who were staying, um, who were with the other day, they they were there. Uh, they were staying just down the road, but they're gonna go there for breakfast in the morning. Anyway, I've checked into the Greyhound, which is a nice hotel here. It's cost me a bit of a fortune, but it's worth it. So I'm just in here now. Nicola's just gonna get a shower and then she's heading home. Um, and I'm here on my own tonight. And then I've got breakfast between eight and nine tomorrow. And then I'll be heading off, hopefully to Kirby Stephen. But let me show you my knees my knees are literally three times the size my knees i don't know if you can see it but my knees are so I can hardly bend my leg my knees are so swollen <laughs> literally oh 10 times better and this one as well i can't even straighten it you, i don't know if you can see but they're absolutely swollen so i'm hoping a nice shower tonight i'm gonna jump in the shower now i'm hoping that i'll uh and a rest and this is the comfiest bed ever I'm looking yeah. forward to it so apologies for not doing many updates today admittedly I might be fit very 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 hard day a lot harder than you think <sighs> thank you for watching so far